Hello there, and welcome to New League of Legends game commentary, and tonight we're up against some more Cyan. And on this video I want to talk about uh, the, the, f the fun of playing tank Teemo on top lane. This is one really good possible iteration of Teemo, and considering that my team has no real frontliner, I mean, okay, this cane might go for red form, which would be really awesome, but generally speaking, we have no real tank on our team, and you will run into these scenarios more often than not if you're playing regularly Teemo like I do, and as a matter of fact, you don't need to build a full AP build on Teemo to be successful, and let's get into this. You'll find the runes I use in the link in the description below, and it's gonna be a fleet footwork lane. I played around with those masteries in the preseason quite a lot, and I was running Aerie a lot, and I personally think Aerie might be the most popular rune for a uh, keystone for Teemo, but I don't think it's the best keystone to be quite honest. I like fleet footwork a whole lot more, but this might be some personal preference, but let's get into this. So we're up against Cyan and he runs Ignite, and I pretty much expect him to uh, have his E leveled first. That's the thing which pushes minions back, but so far he hasn't used a single skill, so I don't know yet what he skilled. So I gotta be really careful because they have Shaco in, their jung uh, in the jungle. Shaco without ignite though, that's something I can't prove. And for now I'll just play this lane pretty defensively. Because I don't want to push this sign too hard into his jung uh, into his turret. That's why I'm not poking him. Because when you have some early game jungler, oh there he dies or Ariana. When you have an early game jungler like Shaco against you, um, you don't really want to play the lane uh, that close to the enemy turret, because you can get cheesed so damn hard, especially if your enemy runs Ignite. In the usual scenario, uh, Shaco, and, uh, Shaco would run Ignite, so I'm really playing this carefully. Since my build path will be a different one than I build usually, so let's see. But he lets me push, he doesn't... He didn't use a single skill so far. And... Alright, so... We saw the Shaco, which means... I can't potentially do anything here. I'm not too sure if Kane wants to fight for that. But he gets heavily invaded by the Shaco, so let's help him. Because I don't want to be here anyways. Just trying to stick around here for the minion XP and head off. So chances are he noticed that I saw him here. So I think he's gonna be waiting there and the try for a good option here to gank me. And I don't want to allow him that. So I'm losing some CS for uh, about that, but losing some CS is way better than dying. All right, so sign plays super defensively, and well, I'm. Why well, honestly surprised by that? Because he runs Ignite. So I feel like a very endangered species here. All right, might have killed the Shaco here, but I really got to uh, respect the Ignite from the Shaco. So, okay. I'm well aware of the fact that Shaco will not come back because I kind of like almost killed him. And Cyan is a very, very difficult matchup for a team in general. But I felt like this is a very, very good game to uh, go for a tanky build on him. That. Because there are a lot of uh, champions you can't beat down with the regular. Uh, holy shit, what the fuck what is this damage? 
All right, so un I underestimated his burst, but that's okay. This knight is down while I have still TP up, so he doesn't gain too much from that. Although, I gotta say, I'm pretty surprised that I uh, suffered enough damage from his uh, Q alone that the knight would kill me. But hey, that's okay. So for my first item, I run a giant spell. I want to have more HP on that, because the first, the beginning of the laning phase went really miserable for me, and this whole game is going down the gutter so far. But don't judge a game from the early game. Hmm. Do I want to TP on that? I don't think so. Because uh, Tristana is pretty weak in the early game. So I can't do shit about that. I didn't use TP to get back to lane anyways. Alright, so... He's level 6 before I got 6. That's okay. So he misses his Q a lot. <laughs> Maybe that's why I took his Q a little bit too easy there. And my mouse is killing me. So I lately ran into this uh, mouse stuttering bug a lot and I read on reddit that other people are suffering this problem too that their mouse just drops down and doesn't do anything anymore so let me know if you are suffering the same problem yay we had our first success finally Oh, he wants to repeat that stuff. So the giant spell already pays off a lot here. Because without the extra HP of that, I would have been dead. By this point. You gotta be careful his ignite, uh, when his ignite is back up. Chances are he's gonna just try to ult in my face and ignite me there. When you're playing a tanky Teemo, you're having a pretty weak early game. There we are. So, I'm pretty beaten up here and I'm gonna back out now. Because, right now, when I get another hit in, I'm pretty dead. Gotta respect that. Cyan is pretty damn strong in the early game. So... I'm saving up my money right now. But judging from the looks of it, this game will be super hard. And my team is arguing hard, and Brand left the game. I don't know if he actually left the game or uh, disconnected for some other uh, reasons. We will never find out, I guess. So right now I'm just chilling here. So I'm waiting for my next uh, 1200 gold for the Jarum's Fist. Oh, I guess I'm gonna head home when I have that. Time for the long nap. Survival ain't pretty. Alright. I'm gonna let him push me, that's okay. My 
It's a lot of dodging involved when playing against Sign uh, as Teemo. That's why I personally think it's a very, very hard matchup for Teemo to uh, tackle. Because, well, his base damage is brutally high even if he's uh, playing full tank. It's pretty hard to kill him off just uh, even if you're running AP. So survival is basically your best option. So, this is one outcome you can be absolutely satisfied with. When you kill each other, that's pretty cool, to be quite honest. And when we look at that, this is the problem about Sion. It's pretty hard to itemize against him, because he runs so much mixed damage. Um, this makes it pretty hard to uh, survive him, in general. And I'm going to drop the uh, Doran's ring here and swap it out for the vampiric scepter because i really need some sustain i get poked too much in this lane and this leads to the point where i just die but killing him off with me perfectly fine that's perfectly fine for me so now we're talking business now i can fight a little more because with these items it's getting harder and harder for him to just kill me like that. And one good thing about building Teemo like that is usually your enemies don't expect that stuff happening. So he's running mid. So let's just push this in. It's coming towards top hair. So what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna annoy him a little. Fresh up my mana. So this is a bad shroom. I shouldn't have put it there. Shrooms in the river are generally really bad because uh, your enemy can uh, the scuttle crab will sooner or later pick it up. So he runs Tiamat, that's awesome. Because Tiamat leads to the point where he'll just always push. I got TP, so I don't mind him put, uh, smacking me that much. He's playing very, very kill oriented. I mean, that's okay. When you're playing some insanely strong uh, top laner like Cyan. You better play for the kills, that's okay. So, I don't want to back out right now. Don't have enough money right yet. But, this is going really ugly. This whole game is going down the gutter, guys. Well, we're not even uh, we're not even through the laning phase, and we already lost kind of like all our turrets here. Apart from me. No, guys, I'm not gonna surrender. So I'm gonna smack him some, but he's just shielding the shit out of this. Solo killing signs kind of impossible. This is where we draw the line. We ain't all making it 
but I'm sustaining pretty nicely with the Vampiric Sector here. What I'm gonna do... My team is just getting smacked down on mid lane. So let's see if we can help them some, because this is a lost spot. I got my first item completed. That's fine and dandy. We gotta try if we can do something for our team here. Get down there. So if I get one hit on him, he's dead. I'm too tanky, boy. But <laughs> we're losing to another turrets here, but that's that's nothing I I see as my fault there because I really had to help this team. I had to help here because if I didn't, we would have lost an inhibitor out of this. And that's basically way way more way worse. So let's go here. Let's kill up this freaking sign. Let's slow this dude. That's where the mallet comes in really handy. That's why I bought this item in the first place. Because it's really good against uh, science uh, passive. You can just kite this guy out without any issue. So let's get there. So tank team, the basic idea of tank team is providing a lot of sustained damage for your team. Because you're not running AP, so your uh, first impact damage is not too high. You can't uh, expect much damage from your mushrooms or anything like that. But you can stick to people and shoot them repeatedly. But this is really, really ugly. Because I don't know how much longer we can uh, continue this game. Because the rest of my team, well, this Tristana might be some hope. So I got the tab, I said I want to have some MR. Um, there we are. So let's stop them from taking the lantern. But we're really fucked here. Gotta be honest. This game's pretty over. Unless uh, we can actually save the situation a little. So I want to go there. It's, it's really horrible to... Uh, to need to, <laughs> to teleport there because this was... My team was right there, but if I didn't TP there, you know how much damage this Ezreal would have done to this turret? He's stupidly dead. He's run, he was run, running Kleptomancy and he has crap ton of kills. So he's doing tremendous amounts of damage to this turret. But actually, I have a feeling that our Tristana might be working. But... <sighs> Alright, let's run down. Let's run back. No, I don't want to surrender, guys. Only because you guys suck. I hate surrendering only because you guys suck. So can we get this Ezreal? I guess yes, but he'll just uh, hop over the wall here if I engage in him. There we are. Expect as much. So let's get down to this kid arena. Hello there, free kills. Thank you. I need to do this. Alright, Trist will get him. So let's pick up some MR, but I feel like this uh, should be enough magic resistance. Oh, or, whoa, oh, okay, this kind of arena has a shit ton of kills too. Mm, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I need this uh, magic resistance item ASAP too. 
so that's fun about that. She can't get away from me here. Let's bring down the these guys. So this this is the power of tank team. I mean, basically wherever I am, we're winning place. It's really funny. Thanks, dude. One more all on her. Oh. Alright, she's gone. I got X accepted. Gotta accept when somebody fuck when when the situations happen like that. It really sucks. I hated to let people go uh, go in situations like these. Jesus, these guys, first few minutes of the game go bad and they are tilting like little, like li little kiddos. People are paying way too much uh, attention to the first few minutes of the game. Oh boy, this Tristan, this Ariana is so dead, I can't do shit. I can't do shit for her. So we got the Tristana alive. Alright, taunt us. It's okay. Holy shit, this damage. Gotta kill off the Leona first, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So, I have this... Yeah, alright. Where? Tristana! Dude, they're running into our base! That was really bad from her. She should have been around. We really need to prove up in, the, in this situation. But we lost the first inhibitor on, on 23 minutes. That's okay-ish. She's getting more and more fed. And I gotta be quite honest. I don't feel like... This is a loss. It's a hard win for sure, but not a loss. Main problem here is I'm not able to take any more CS because I need to be everywhere right now. It's a shame that you need that you have gotta rely on your Teemo so much, but obviously they must. So I'm not afraid of her. She's not respecting the mallet. She's not respecting the mallet at all. So I want to grab up some some juicy CS while I can and head back to base. It's a shame we lost our inhibitor uh, for for quite no reason, but I can't change it. Gotta respect the lousy decisions your teammates do because let's be quite fair and honest. Everybody of us does lousy decisions from time to time, so we need to take down this Azrael. As long as I can zone him out, this fight is pretty easy. So, okay, we, we gotta be careful now. Katarina can bust this up really hard. Yeah. All those resets on her. Alright, we got her. I didn't see the Tristana, so I flashed for nothing. Okay, sorry. Sorry, guys, for this uh, flash waste. So, I'm gonna death this lane here. Because this will give me some uh, gold and really need. Gotta keep an eye out on, for the infernal here. 
so they meet me here. Alright, we've got that one. And let's get the fuck out of here. We got the Infernal, that's really good. I really need to get away from Liliana. When she ults me, I'm done. And she has somebody in her, in her flank here. Katarina's right now the thing that can stop me best. Ezreal not so much, he's relying too much on his auto attacks, so what I'm gonna do... I really wanna have this one, but I'm... Well, I built too hard into the other path here. I'm coming, team! Good job, boys. Holy shit, you're not gonna get away with that. So how does, does that taste, my friend? Alright. I don't think that this one auto was enough, sadly. So if I didn't build tank on this game, we would have been finished three times by now. That's what I'm talking about. If your team lacks any frontline, because we're having Shadow King, who doesn't contribute anything in points of uh, frontlining, so, I'm kind of like the tank of this team. As weird as it may sound. And I'm getting closer to the Spectre's, uh, to the Spirit Visage here. I'm not too sure if I really want to have the Spirit Visage. I think I actually want to have the, uh... I really prefer the Adapted Helmet over the Spirit. Because I have no real good sustaining here. And Adaptive Helmet helps me a lot against uh, the repeated damage of... Alright, good. Gotta dodge the Leona at all costs. So that's, this, this was an okay-ish trade, I mean... Guys, I can't be everywhere. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm 100% dead. Can't do anything against this kind of CC chain from a such horribly fat AD carry. That's really sad. I did my best here. I think I really did my best here. Mm, this, this Tristana is done, and this is the game, I guess. Or, or the Ezreal goes inting. Sure, that's also an option. Alright, I take it. So we're losing this turret, okay? And we're losing this inhibitor. No, we don't. The sign is actually trolling. Cool. Take that every time of the day again. So, we lost an inhibitor in the end of this uh, story, but at least only one, not two. That's good. I'm coming, boys! I'm not gonna get away with that boy. Ever tried to kill a tank team of Katarina? Oh. I can't really kill off that dude, but neither can he. Still not enough to afford the Adaptive Helmet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to litter this place with shrooms. Basically the whole base. One day there'll be a reckoning. Well... Oh boys, we're losing Nasher. 
while their jungler is uh, playing around in our base. That's so damn sad. That's so damn sad. Nah, we're not gonna win this game. I'm pretty sure we're not gonna win this game. Sadly. But, as a matter of fact, you've got to accept that some games are simply not winnable. I mean, he's standing way too, way too uh, close to these enemies. And now we're having this Baron buffed wave crashing into our base, that's really horrible. But I feel like I should be able to... So, alright, we got the Katarina, and we're also taking down the Ezreal. So let's kill off this. Uh, I can't kill off more here. Or can I? Alright. Great! I mean, they're still not able to finish this up. How the fuck is that possible? Is it this Teemo? Is this Teemo really the reason? I think the answer is yes. I'm an annoying little fuckball. Alright. Gotcha, my boy. Let's drop a shroom into his way here. Simply love this build. You're not doing too much damage uh, quickly, but you're doing it over time. You're not gonna chase my brand, my friend. I'm gonna slow the fuck out of your face here. So, no matter the outcome of this game, I think I did a great job here. Definitely didn't do less than the sign for their team. So what's true is the uh, power of your shroom suffers a damn lot by this build. I'm coming team! Because this Katarina is top priority for me. She can bust out my uh, Tristana so damn quick. I mean she's going for a Hex Drinker, which is in my opinion not the best idea because Katarina kills you off so damn quickly, the shield will just melt like it's not there. I feel like Guardian Angel is at this point the way better choice because you die, then you then you go back up again. It's a lot better. So, 33 minutes into the game, we're at one turret taken down. Holy shit, what a bonkers game. Not even close, buddy. So I feel like we have the the, the better team fight AD carry on our team. Alright, so that's one Leona all down. It's really awesome. And I I saved the Tristana from that hook. I went into her, in, into Leona's face so Ooh. It's not the original one. But that's okay. So, I saved our AD carry again, and that's exactly what we need. Holy shit. Yeah, that's the issue here. She's so friggin' fed, but at least she's damn low now. Such satisfaction here. Gotta give her the banter here. Oh, that was that was the 
best feeling shroom in this whole game. I love it when that happens. So I got my gunblade now. Because I really want to have some kind of damage item. But I feel like for the third, well, for the last item, I, I really want to have some more MR. Because I don't want to get burst down like that again from her. I need to be able to uh, at least run away from her when she decides to all in me first. Because if that doesn't work out, I'm on for it. Our whole team is past. So this is another good. Uh, when the game is lost, uh, stri uh, strategy for Timo. Litter this place with shrooms. So that's their support. Oh, alright. Alright. I mean, we won this fight actually. Wow. Wow, nice. I'm really surprised we won this fight. All right, more and more. Because my damage doesn't matter at all. I'm just this annoying thing that's hard to kill. Does consistent damage and slows you while you're auto while you're getting auto attack from me. Ah, oh, what an exciting game! I think. I think we should take that Baron if we can. That would be our win condition here. Just, I know, what are you doing? That, that is not useful. So, am I gonna teleport up there? I guess the answer is yes. Because I need to be around Tristana. She's the only thing able to actually kill off their team. carry anymore. Be careful, boys. Alright, that's that. So, they got Azrael. That sucks. We should kill this dude too. I'm gonna stick around to Kane, I like his idea. Because with Asriel down, our winning chances are a lot higher here. I don't have TP for this again, but turns out we're good here. You know what guys? Let's do this teamwork style, because I feel like if Katarina gets dangerous again, a locket is the best thing for us, because she deals a crap ton of, uh, uh, she deals a crap ton of AoE damage, and I feel like I can save these people with that. gonna do the rest without me boys. I did my job. I shielded you. And oh, I don't think we can win out of this yet. But we're getting there. I think. 
There is real life live again. That might be a hell of a problem here. Okay, so let's pick up the blue elixir here. And we're actually still taking this turn. So this game now is at the point where kind of like everybody has their six items completed. Mostly, I'd say. Ariana hasn't yet. But there's Sheikoa uh, hasn't either. And there's Sign also not. All right. A lot of people have finished their six item, but not everybody. But Arcane is popping off in the late game. That's what I really hate on Blue Kane when I play against him, that he can one-shot people in the late game that damn good. And I love it when, I, when he is on my team, because he can one-shot people late game that damn good. Uh, he's, he ran away. Oh, totally positive that he ran away. Let's trigger that before anybody gets hurt by that. So my mushrooms serve a lot of purposes here. But I agree, we need to attack while Ezreal is down. We need to kill her. Alright. Alright, I think we lost just now. Or did we? We need this Leona gone because she deals so terrible much uh, CC. Alright, there's there's the Ezreal, that's a problem. Come on! Get me! Get me! Ah! Alright, I got it. What a game, boys. What a game. How the fuck should I run here? So, guess I'm still alive. It's just gonna sustain because he's chasing me anyway. Nope. He ran away. Whew. That's some insane game, I gotta tell you. So, we need a pick on cat or we can't win. Reinforcement aid coming. She's a real issue here. Once she banks down anybody or, or AD carry, this, this game is over. What am I playing here? This game's so damn long. What the fuck? They should kill off the uh, support here. This should, this should suffice. All right. All right. Blue are up. We can win now. game as quick as possible. So they got their tank and their jungle left. Hmm. I'm gonna run with the team because Checo, when he tries to backdoor, I can safely TP. Oh, 
All right, I gotta get rid of that. Oh well, if he tries to uh, continue this shit, he's gonna step into a shroom sooner or later. Can they win without me? I'm not too sure. I need to know if Shaco went uh... Alright, I need to back up. They won't know that. Man. As soon as Katarina's down, everything's okay. Alright. Oh, maybe I made a bad decision here. I think Baron finished the bet is the best choice there. Their shake us down. We can do this without, even without the cane. This is no problem. Because we're dealing so friggin' much damage. I can just tank this thing. And we need to get every single advantage we can get here. I hate it when games go as long as like that. This is so damn annoying for everybody when the game or not annoying it's exhausting let's put it like that games like that are so damn exhausting because we're sitting here for almost 50 minutes and i can't imagine that anybody of you has the patience to watch this video to this point but ah, well i still think this is a this is a great piece of video to show you guys that a lot of games you think that are lost are actually not lost so we gotta take care of the cat. There she is. Alright. That shit didn't work out. We threw. We threw. That was a clean throw. Because Katarina is still around, she's just gonna kill everybody. can survive long enough. They they are having trouble with their wave clear. Okay, and Tristan Mio are already almost back up. I think that should be enough. They took down Cat. That should be enough. These two guys, they don't have any damage. They killed this turret not really quick. Perfect. You're not gonna get away, boy. Or, no, not from the true status. Oh. Oh, well, these people are dead too long. Alright, Trist, I actually thought you'd be around me here. attention to the minimap. Oh. It's hard to tell what I can sell here. That's GG, I guess. Ugh, this game is such a slaughter. What 
can I do to make this game more, more winnable? I guess we need more tank shred. So I'm gonna pick up a Leandris here. I feel like this is our last hope. Because we... We actually can't kill these tanks quickly enough anymore. That's my that's my biggest problem right now. That I'm taking forever to kill these tanks. Alright, they should be able to take care of Sheka. Alright, that's one. I mean, if they keep doing such silly mistakes, we're gonna win. That's GG. Or is it? That's oh, GG. Twist overstepped, in my humble opinion. She shouldn't have went that deep in. But they should be able to finish now. Or they just chase for more kills, I guess. What the fuck? What is this game? It's like they're actually not trying to win. Neither team. <laughs> but... We're going to lose a lot in these 15 seconds. Oh wait, that's Ariana doing some work here. Nope, we, didn't, we still didn't lose him that. Come on, come on. Yes, my friend. Ah, oh, I love it. Alright. So, there, 80 carries down. But, we need to do something about the Shaco backdoor attempts. Because you will try to do that again. 100% sure. Because he's actually shit in the late game. Alright, so I'm gonna use my teleport to back up. If he tries to backdoor us. I guess that's the best bet here. So. Yeah, they're gonna win with this backdoor strat. Because we can't really do much about that, because I feel like I'm the only one watching, paying attention to situations like these. So the only way to win... Sneaking away? No. No. So, I'm gonna do the same shit now as you guys. Because it's only Ezreal. Yeah. Forcing him away from the bar. Good boy. Come to me, boy. I just wanted to cover up their uh, 
option to Baron here. At no point of the game we want to have these enemies have uh, Baron. What the fuck is this game? This is really one of the damn longest games I've played in a quite a while. And I can't even say that anybody on this team sucks like 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 bronze or something like that. No no. They're just not having any any macro gaming, I think. This is like a game where nobody knows about the word macro game. And they're just somehow fighting around this area and now after 40 minutes of the game, Shaco had the idea, hey there's something like a macro game. We should try to take their objectives. So he starts the back door. But holy this is like the this this Shaco back door is like the most serious attempt of uh, global macro playing this whole both teams ever did. It's amazing, and normally I do a lot more pressure around the map, but this game left me no choice. I needed to be around my team, or we would have already lost quite a while ago. Holy shit! I really want to win this game. I really want to win this. Mm, there's Cat. Alright, so, sure, jump me. I love it. Yep, good, good, good. Alright, we got their, uh, their engage. It's really good. But I don't dare to chase her. Alright, they reacted properly. Now this time I didn't notice it. I've got to be 100% honest here. This time Sheka would have gotten me. Guess I flamed too hard right there. It's bad for your attention span. Seriously, it is. Raging is bad for your attention, always. Because you're focused on your rage. Alright. Oh shit, my reactions are such garbage. I don't use this item uh, too much. I, s I reacted so friggin' bad on this Katarina. We should focus on these inhibitors first. I want to give them no return here. Alright. I don't have... I don't have my blind right now. I messed that one up. This the game. The problem about this is that uh, the Katarina is coming back any second, so you lost your tank boys, you're on your own now. But I expected that something like that would happen, that we have to die one more time to actually finish up this game. But now we have oh well, we only got two. We should have had three, at least, but, oh well. But now at least we're having supers pushing into their base while they don't have supers. That's basically the thing here. Ugh. This game, this game is killing me. So I really need this item, but I suck at using it. So. I'm no support player. My reflexes on this locket thingy are really bad. Or out of practice, actually. So, we'll actually lose another inhibitor. No! We might actually lose this game. Fascinating. Yeah, alright. I guess that's GG. No. There you have it again. Their carries are chasing kills like morons. No bad Zion.
It's the only choice I have here. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna get there and I'm gonna finish this fucking game. Holy shit, we won. I gotta be honest, I think this is by far the longest game I ever had in League of Legends. I think there were one or two more games that actually last more than 60 minutes, but oh, they are less than 10 in like seven years playing League of Legends. Wow. But we did it. So boys, this is Tank Teemo. You literally can't lose with Tank Teemo, right? <laughs> oh, I want to honor here. I really got want to honor the uh, Oriana because she didn't tilt. She just did her thing. Not too well in the beginning, but overall I feel like she did a lot, a lot of good stuff here. She did a lot of good stuff here. Holy shit. So at the end of the day, if you have a look at it, comparing it to the enemy tank, I guess Sign did build tank, no? Yeah, he did. So compared to the enemy tank, I did a lot more damage than him. But let's have a look, see on the damage taken. So, well, I didn't even tank as close as he did. <laughs> well, I, the point here is just, Tank Teemo offers you a way more durable option. And as you have seen, I iterated a lot into offensive options. So that's the game. Let's have a look on these enemies. They're kind of like the outro of this episode. So that's one Diamond 5. All right. Pretty surprised. That's Gold 5. All right. So that's one carry that didn't end the game. This guy was unranked, but OK. That's plat 5, with gold 5 and solo 2. How does that happen? And uh, plat 5, actually, yeah, but again. Okay, and mighty. Gold 3, mm, that's okay. Gold 1, not too bad either. And gold 2. And gold 4. Holy shit. See you guys soon, and thanks for watching. If you're still there, which I actually don't think. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys.